All right, good morning guys. We're gonna be working with the Trimble FMX today and, and we're gonna be doing a, setting up access path in the field and we're gonna be using a 10 foot implement. So we're gonna start by opening up our field. You hit your tractor button and we're gonna be using this 10 foot implement. So we're gonna have a 10 foot swath width, a 10 foot application width. We hit okay. All right, so we're gonna be setting up access paths so we can come in here and change it to, well, actually we already have it set up in the field so I'm gonna leave it alone and hit okay. All right, so we are using auto steer so we wanna hit yes. So if you look on the screen here, you see we've already done some playing out here and we've uh, set up our access path. So to set it up, we're gonna hit uh, swaths first and we've already laid off our AB line, so we're gonna use our current AB line and hit load. All right, so you see our red line up under us here. So we, this is our actual AB line that we created earlier, and this was our original. So if we uh, go to a different view here, you'll see, and you back out, you see right here, we have our original AB line. So this is on our left-hand side, starting A going to B, using <clears throat> always working from left to right so if you're working with access path you always want to be working from left to right so we created our AB line on our left hand side and when we go into our swaths page you'll see and then go over here to our access path page so in this particular scenario uh, the farmer wanted uh, two access or two, excuse me two uh, rows by the fence so our swaths and first group is two but he wanted five access or five rows between his access path so the way that this is going to be set up is we're going to have two rows in our first group since we're working left to right our ab's place in first group will always be one and our swaths between access paths will be five so he's going to have 50 feet between his his access path so he's gonna have from center of his access path to center of his access path or drive middle, he's gonna have 50 feet. Uh, that will give him five 10 foot rows in between his access paths. And then in that first group, he's gonna have 20 feet and then his first access path or drive middle. So, and right now we're gonna provide our guidance to our actual swaths, to our actual rows, to where we wanna put our plants, that's swaths, and hit okay and hit load and you see the AB line actually moved. The AB line is still here but the red line, our guidance line, moved to where we want our plants. So if you look here you see this is a, uh, a plant row, 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 and a plant row. So in between here and over here is our drive middles. So if you watch, I'm going to go back and provide guidance to our SWAT or to our access path, SWAS access path provide guidance to access path hit ok hit load and you watch your guidance line your guidance line moved into where our actual uh, drive middle would be so this is this area right here is our drive middle then you've got your row your row drive middle a row a row a row a row and then a drive middle uh, I'm gonna pause it here a second we'll fill in some more of these gaps and it'll make a better picture here hang on all right guys, here we are back. Just want to show you what I'm talking about here. So you see the AB line and then you've got your two passes here by the fence. Then you've got a drive middle. Then you've got five passes. Then you've got a drive middle. And now you're starting our next five passes, our five rows. So this is what I'm talking about. And then if we wanted to provide our guidance back to our, uh, our middles or our drive middles, you'd hit that swaths, access path, provide guidance to access path and watch your guidance line your guidance line once you hit load here you'll see where it moves you see it jumps right into that open area so that's your your drive middle so if you wanted to uh, spray those or use that as your spray middle or whatever and you wanted it to actually drive it for you versus you having to drive it uh, it's, it's providing you a line or, or at least a light bar to follow um, in that row so that's what's happening there with your access pass. So this is how it lays it out across the field. In this instance, we've got it set to uh, give us five rows in between our pass. 
our path width will be six foot um, for the system it's actually going to be if you measured from center of uh, center of your row to center of your row across your your uh, access path or your drive middle you'll have 16 feet there but it's actually six foot is what it the system thinks that it is your swaths in first group you want two by the ditch and then you want five across the field in between your paths if you're always working left to right uh, your AB space in your first group will be one and you can switch between provide guidance to access path or provide guidance to your swaths um, in this case you know most people are just going to want to know want it to provide guidance to the rows to where their plants are going to be so you hit ok and you hit load and you see that it moves the line right back under where we are um, again guys thanks I hope this video helps